I see y'all here. SC Clapton, Simple Alec. I am Marley Speaks. NDJ Celtic One. Lady Hazel May. Erica Kelsa. We're see. I see all y'all, man. Savage AF. I'm Black Pedro. We waiting on that comedian Shang to jump in here. Oh, uh, I just saw a wave from Shang. Nikki FSU. I am Queen Leo. Uh, sexy Puerto Rican. Mr. Miranda. I see all y'all. Miss Adverb. Get the <laughs> student of the year. Showing up all early. Breezy JJ's always on time. Yeah, I see you. El Noop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's going on, buddy, man? I see y'all. I'm going to do my R&B album c c cover. You just kind of look off into the yeah, you gotta do reflective. That shit. Kane Garland, AJ Fit 365. We see y'all. Savage AF. Uh, this is a, a, an IG live thing that we do, y'all. That's, that's what it is. Yeah. We're here Monday through Friday. Uh, Mondays and Fridays, you can catch us 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Typically, Tuesday through Thursdays, we are uh, uh, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I have right. some shit to do today. No, but seriously, I ended up uh, moderating a panel uh, for the Princeton Club of Southern California's mentorship event. And um, I was talking with some really distinguished, I, like I met the, the first Mexican-American woman to ever attend Princeton. Uh, yeah, I met right. her tonight. Uh, and you know, just just some good people, but it was it was a good spirit, and it was part of uh, something positive, which hasn't been happening much <laughs> lately. So, lately. Be part of that. lately. so thank you, thank y'all for uh, sticking with us, man. And then, right, you know, and Miss Amberb, it ain't baby here. I just got a big ass fro under here that's fucked up. I got a fucked up. Your fro is fucked up. So I haven't been able to go to barber shop, and I got too much hair to try to cut it uh, the way I normally cut it. So. Um, hey. that's why if you asking me baby hairs, how about, yeah, how about you, these baby hairs on my nuts? <laughs> so start off not that baby way. Nuts. By the way. Not baby nuts, baby hair on Not nuts. baby nuts, Different. right. Yeah, because then, because people, somebody going to say baby nuts. And even though I know we got a bunch of stuff we're going to talk about today, I just want to say one thing pertaining to Donald Trump. Boo! Boo, bitch, <laughs> boo! <laughs> they they threw they threw booze over a over a, a casket <laughs> to, to get to him. And he like, stood there and they, and he said, "I didn't really hear anything." Shut the fuck up! They booed the shit out of him. Pretty on the left and the right, El Noob. We appreciate y'all. Uh, he was at the Apollo. <laughs> we appreciate y'all staying up past your uh, bedtime. Yeah, I was expecting the Sandman to come out and start tap dancing on him. Uh, yeah. So, uh, guys, listen. Before we get into the show, make sure you understand. And I should go ahead and pin this that um, you can follow right. us now on YouTube and you have to subscribe to YouTube. Look up Savage AF podcast on YouTube. And yeah. if you ever miss or we, we, we go past your bedtime or we're before you wake up or some shit like that, you can find the video feed uh, posted, at, you know, archived on YouTube. Savage AF podcast on YouTube. Um. And then uh, you can go to IamShang.com uh, forward slash merch, um, and that's going to get you to your Savage AFTs and masks. But I'm going to go ahead and plug this, uh, this YouTube page real quick. YouTube page. It's, and Shang, it's a and Shang, new page. If they, if they don't, don't want to get the video or they can't and they just want to listen to us audio-wise and they miss the live, let them know how they could do that, man. All right. Now, what you got to do is you, know, you have to also we ask you to sign up and stuff, but it's free. Um, you know, how you sign up for podcasts. A lot of black folks and people of color don't sign up for podcasts as much as they should. So make sure that you sign up or I mean, subscribe to our podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, Slacker, Google Play, iHeartRadio, Spotify and SoundCloud. Make sure you do it that way, because that way we can keep the numbers growing for the podcast version of it and also the YouTube. It's so many platforms, but, you know, it's free on all of them, so make sure you check them out, all right? Yes, sir. Thank you. Think? Appreciate you for that information, man. So we are Savage AF. You know what we do. We're not the type of show that runs down shit. We're the type of show that will run up on your ass. So we're going to do the daily yep. run-up. Starting from the bottom, now we're here. Uh, we're going to end tonight's show uh, talking about uh, money where your mouth is, which is what Michael Bloomberg is doing. He's putting up money along with other people. We're going to talk about that to uh, pay felonies, to pay the felony fines 
for uh, so that you know Florida ex felons can actually vote this uh, round, and we're gonna talk about your boy's response to that. That is Trumpy Dumpty. But before that, he's a last- loser. What's he doing? How dare he? And now all, all you can hear was boo, bitch, boo, bitch, boo. It but was- before that, yep. But before that, we're gonna talk about break yourself, fool. Uh, hey, how many is- break yourself? Which is basically what forty six percent of Americans are doing financially right now. Niggas yeah. is broke. <laughs> right. Uh, Either they but, don't know or they don't show what's going on in the hood. Yeah. And not even the hood, dog. Like the yeah. whole it, the hood the is whole... America <laughs> right now. Y'all wow. don't know y- y'all don't even know what that was from. Because y'all too young. And Miss Adverb <laughs> said, Can you boo boo boo? And she tried to hit him with that teddy. I, I know it's she hit him with the teddy yeah. The boo boo boo. Uh but uh, before we get into Break Yourself, we're going to talk about, I'm going to give you all a choice. Do you want the USR or the USC? Because right now we got a choice between the United States of Russia and the United States of China. We're going to talk about that. Uh, what's up? I, I would I say Zion. China, but we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll talk about that. Um, before we talk about that, though, we're going to talk about judges' orders. Um, we know that New York Attorney General Letitia James is all up in Trump's ass like tissue uh, <laughs> o- over his uh, Letitia. Uh, you know, um, is that really is her name's Letitia? Letitia James, man, she she all up in that ass. I would not she, want a woman named Letitia mad at me. No, I can no, see no, her. Sir. Come out you the car, nigga. Come out well, the car. Know, Come out up. the car, nigga. Yeah, she once, seemed like once Letitia on your ass, and she Attorney General Powers, top cop in the state of New York. Uh, she is all over Trumpy Dumpty about the uh, manipulation of his of his uh, valuations of his country, of his company. Sorry, and a judge has just backed her up and says that Eric Trump, uh, one of his dumbass sons, has to comply with the subpoena by October seventh before the election, which is what he was trying to delay. Wonder why. But before we get into that, top of the show, we're gonna start off with. And this is September 24th, 2020. We're running up to the top, y'all. We're going to start off today's show persecuting the prosecutor. And I'm, up, I'm talking about Daniel yeah. Cameron slash Kuhn, Kuhnren, the attorney yeah. general. Speaking of attorney generals, and this is night and day in terms of black attorney generals, uh, from Kentucky, who gave us that bogus-ass report yesterday and the, the the charges that went down yesterday were necessary and warranted, but the lack of charges was not, right? So they, they, they got one little slice of it, yes. Hankinson. But they, no, no, they, they, no, no, they I mean, really. not, listen, Hankinson, that, that was, those, those were, that was crazy actions as a police officer. Shooting through windows and shit that you can't see through and glass doors. That, yeah, that, but yeah, you know that, what? That, there was crazy. something so that, that, needed to, that needed to happen. But they left out the main part. It's like, so much shit. But but did you hear this though? That and this is comes down to race again. And I'm I know I'm high yellow. Shouldn't be talking about race because look at me. I look like I'm mixed. But this is real shit. Um, the white neighbors that the bullets went through was the one where they're like, oh, so the black them. neighbors had some bullets go through their thing. Not one fucking charge. Pertaining to that, so it does break down the race. So, so and, this is, and 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 what's his name? Cameron or Ar- Coonran? Daniel Coonran. Dan- Daniel Coonran. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's so, some coons in so, this house. There's some coons in this house. So yeah. other other shit is coming about. So we 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 see the three one three. We are talking about Brianna right now. Uh, we're talking about the the coon ass attorney general in Kentucky who failed to bring charges. And understand, it's up to the prosecutor to bring whatever case they want to to the to the grand jury and and you know he said clearly yesterday that he saw no no justification to bring a case against uh especially the one cop that they know murdered her cosgrove um they, they, they he, his shooting was justified of her according to daniel right. but but other Cameron. but other attorneys are going against them though of course and other so other shit has come out right Shit that I didn't realize, shit that I didn't know. Um, this part is absolutely true. He is, and this is this. I wrote this on the fucking one sheet. Daniel Cameron is Mitch McConnell's bitch monkey. 
He is Bitch yes. McConnell's Bitch Monkey. Like, this is, this is the nigga on a leash that Bitch McConnell has found to do his, his, his bidding, right? So he is a protege of Mitch McConnell's. He went to Louisville, got his, his law degree, uh, uh, and went there under a scholarship named after Mitch McConnell. He served as Mitch McConnell's legal counsel, uh, I believe, from 15 to 17, from 2015 to 2017. <clears throat> he was at, um, I'm sorry, Mitch McConnell was at uh, his wedding in August. Now, one thing that is going out is that... Wait, you got to say who his wife is. So th I'm going to address this because I've seen, I've seen this... Get this, into it. No, no, I've seen this notion that his, his wife, Daniel Cameron's wife, is Mitch McConnell's granddaughter. However, I saw that on a meme, and I keep talking to y'all about memes, okay? So I saw a meme. I saw a thing. I saw, a, a, like, it was like a, a screen Rollo capture. the leader. It was like a screen capture. What a Rollo the leader. It was a screen capture of a, a tweet that somebody put on Instagram. And I was like, wait, what? This is his second wife. And they're saying that it's Bitch McConnell's granddaughter. But when I Googled it and my, did my due diligence, I could not find anything that co corroborated that. So I, I feel Even like... Even the building. I feel, so, I, so Real Deal 2015, I, I haven't seen anything that can confirm that this woman, Mackenzie Evans, is Mitch McConnell, Bitch McConnell's granddaughter. All that aside, that 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 would be yeah. That's just, not even that's that, not even that the main thing. That would be like decorations or candles on the cake. Understand, he is already under Bitch McConnell as a protege. They are grooming this Negro to do anti-Negro things, like he did yesterday. Right? He, he is a, a black ass Terminator sent from the past <laughs> to ruin the right. future. You know what I'm saying? But Which no, is, we'll but no, no, the thing he, the thing about it is, um, yeah, she's the not fact that he put his thumb, he put his thumb on a scale where they even his, not only the lawyer said that other AG said it, he put his thumb on a scale. He didn't present the case, you know, properly from the standpoint of showing more facts, like the one witness that actually had to be asked something three times before he said, yeah, 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 let's, yeah, I guess, I guess I heard some shit. Third time and so, heard. Yeah, so exactly. So it's all that, it's that bitch ass bullshit. And he is at the RNC just licking the taint of Trump and every, he had so much taint ball juice, juice ball on juice. his mind. Yes, juice. it was just, it was a flowing river of ball juice all across his face. You know it what was I noticed? So much ball juice. He had, he had mad like bumps on his neck, like just above his collar. Like when he, I, I saw the, I don't know, I thought they were shaving bumps, but now I realize. That's from leaving Trump's pearl necklace on his fucking neck. Yeah, too it long. was dried up. When, when, it was when dried up. Him, when you leave the semen on your neck like that, so I've heard it must do that, dog. Like, because I've seen it happen to many a woman, you know what I'm saying? And it must be that from the, 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 the ass and, and ball drippings from Donald Trump. From Trump. And, 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 and with and a Mitch little McConnell. orange tint, a little orange tint to us, we knew it was him. But I'm just telling you right now, I mean, I there are it. other, they, I don't think. I don't think that it's going to just go away from the standpoint of the pressure that people are putting on them. And there's big money people that are actually putting pressure on them. So hopefully, you know, and hopefully bitch McConnell will either get voted out or he'll get accidentally pushed down the steps by a dude dressed like the Joker about my height. <laughs> so just like, just. And no, and no Eve's underscore Apple seven, nine, one, six, our queen of the show. Tropicana does not make that ball juice and, and bitch semen, right. bitch, bitch McConnell semen that, uh, that got on uh, Daniel Cameron's neck. I think, it, I think he's getting it straight from the source. <laughs> Just straight uh, yeah. from, I don't think from it's, the microphone. It's it's put not it this way. It's freshly, it's squashed, freshly squeezed ball freshly. juice. It's organic. Yeah. It's organic it's, it's, Republican ball juice that he's getting. Um, it's, it's, it, and the thing that's sad it, about it is that we go through all of this, everybody's fighting and, and upset and you know, going at it. And um, it's it's a black man that was responsible for dropping it. It just makes it sad for us because we do have people that are so willing to, you know. In fact, Adam Hunter was get, I was on his show earlier saying, "Well, we're being racist." No, there are black people we feel this way about too. 
that are so willing to just give up their soul to make sure that people that 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 uh European Americans like them please like me they like me they really like me and he, he there's so much bitch in him that he couldn't stand up for this black woman that was killed in her house no guns she didn't have any guns this bullshit so i'm i'm hoping that he gets fucked over but McConnell is the one we really got to go after cuz he's a small cog in a big fucked up machine to me at least uh, i mean who who um um daniel cameron yeah well you know i i wouldn't call him such a small cog especially when we look at the interference he played in justice yesterday right in any sort of justice from you know towards uh, Breonna taylor's murder um i i think that's a big role and this is why these republicans work so hard to groom all federal judges black white mexican whatever Right. They're going to pick out a few. And and, you know, we know Bitch McConnell is a is a racial, a racist, you know, jackal donkey. But they they will pick out their few picking. Well, that probably, one little weak it's probably, it's probably black where person. Yeah. Pick a ninny comes from. It's just like pick pick a pick any of these niggas and, you know, we will be will be done. But, you know, they, they can find the ones that will dance the dance and do the do the thing. Hey, down by the riverside, said we. Yeah. Down. That good Wait. enough for you, Mouse? <laughs> like, they're going to sing the song for you every time and do the dance. Yeah. I mean, this nigga, it, this nigga like, almost yeah. produced tears yesterday. He was like, you know, so, being a, a, a black man, I, powerful, sad, but, you know, the law's the law. And uh, her shooting was justified. So, yeah. So, so, so. Next time yeah, the cop whatever. comes down your door and. Nobody really hears them announce themselves as the police. Black people just cooperate, okay? Your mob mentality and your mobism. We don't need celebrities telling us how what to, to do down, down here in, okay? we and, fried chicken, and Louisville. Okay? We figured out how to get 23 spices into one crispy blend, okay? You All think right. that we need your advice, New York, with your hot dogs, your wieners, okay? Oh, my Suck God. And down. you know what? Let me tell you something. Our potato salad doesn't need any seasoning, okay? Uh, raisins, and raisin, raisins are great in potato salad. You just don't know it yet. So You're not fuck chewing you. them right. You're not chewing them right. You got to let them, let them hit the back tooth where your sweet receptors are. If you hit them on the top, right. so the tongue, right. when that's you put for the, salt and sour. Got to have the raisins. You put the I'm raisins in there and just a little bit of cinnamon in your potato salad, and it makes it really good. It's like a cinnamon raisin challenge. It's and, it's it's astonishing. No, and, and, and the thing he did, away, saying, I like to add cumin to mine. Okay. Oh my God, you are just you know what you are just taking. You're taking chances. You are taking chances. You are just you are just an animal. You're an I, animal. I, I, they call me the pig, potato salad whiz. I mean, I just you know I come I, with a lot of people won't go there, but you just boy, well, you know what, what? You should be on a. I made potato salad once with a bonsai tree in it. Okay, enjoy it. Wow. Like, eat up. You, <laughs> you should fine. be on the cover of Potato Salad Weekly. Oh, yeah, my yeah. God. No, no. It, I was <laughs> once. I'm trying to get back. I'm trying to get back. But you know um, what? This is the amazing thing about this that I, I noticed about this. You saw so many other AGs that came out and said, that's not how you fucking do it. You present the case. Like, like 12 AGs came out against him like on some like yo that's not how you do the shit Bro, you're fucking ex, up my ex-girlfriend from college was on cnn yesterday like i've been in front of a grand jury a million times and you I saw her say that. what to think motherfucker you don't be sitting here like so whatever you want to do with this uh, yeah yeah and you, <laughs> like, you no, present it yeah you, you present it and what you present what you present is what it is and then they go from there. They should have had a trial. They didn't have a trial. And now you're seeing people in the street and cops is getting shot and shit's going to get worse. But I don't want it to be a distraction. I said it yesterday. I'm saying it today. I'm going to say it tomorrow and no, on and on. Don't let it distract you from the main thing we got to do again. I wouldn't like you said, I wouldn't say he's necessarily <laughs> I'll, I'll take that back. I'll retract that. He's not a small um, a bolt. Yeah, yeah, the big, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. No. But. I still say we got to still keep our eyes. We got to do two things at one time. We got to oh, make yes. sure we check this. This coon. Can you hear it? Coon. We got to check him. Did you hear it? That's the sound of coon. second jive. <laughs> if I've ever heard it. Coon. 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 We got to. <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> yeah, so we got to do that. We got to we got to check him, but we got to also now. Bitch McConnell's in a uh, Bitch McConnell, and I forget. There's two other uh, people Lindsey that are Graham, in Lindsey Graham. They're Lindsey Graham. Races. Lindsey Graham especially is in a heated race. Give your money to Jamie Harrison. I don't give a fuck if you live in the goddamn uh, in a tree in the middle of North Dakota. I need you to fucking donate money to Jamie Harrison. Right. Get, get Lindsey there. Graham out. Get Lindsey get Graham out because we got to look at them too because they they're flip floppy ass. I posted something on my face I'm on my Instagram, and you got to check it out. It is basically these same people saying one thing before Trump was uh, elected, how bad he is, he's horrible, he's a showman, he's a con man, he's this, and literally everything opposite of it. And Lindsey Graham is a fucking suck-up of all suck-ups, and he needs his ass beat, okay? He needs his ass beat. So Definitely. I think that that's what we got to focus on. But this dude, man, he was so, it was so no. phony when he was... And <laughs> I mean, he... He bitched up behind the law. You know what I'm saying? Farrah Franklin, we thank you. Politics and comedy at its finest. Thank you very much. This is what we try and do right here, Savage AF, Monday through Friday, right here on IG Live. Um, so when we talk about all these distractions that are going on, you know, your boy is talking about, and when I say your boy, I mean Trumpy Dumpty, impeached President Donald Trump, that they, you know, he, he's talking about this, he ain't, he ain't, he ain't just going to say he's going to peacefully transition, so fuck it. Right, but and that's got everybody's panties in a bunch. But meanwhile, people like the Attorney General of of New York, Letitia James, is is marching on Full, some real going shit. hard in the paint. Yeah, she's Full going hard in the paint. So, so uh, just recently, uh, Judge Arthur Engeron um, basically said to to Eric Trump and and the the Trump organization, "The fuck you talking about? <laughs> Bring your ass to court by October seventh or get your ass in jail. Because there ain't no reason that we should hold this up till after the election to help your ass out. So fuck you. This is New York. Get to the fucking court. Move this it. Guy. Move it. I don't give a fuck. You got to take the A train, the three to the six, connect to the QRP. To the six to the seven. I don't give a fuck. Exhort Come in a fucking horse carriage if we have to. You understand me? When, when they lean in and do this, I don't give a fuck. What you got to do, all right? If you don't fucking come to this goddamn hearing, I swear to God, God forbid, God forbid I will come to your house, I'll beat your family with a fucking shovel. With a fucking shovel. When they say I this, I swear to God. Don't you fucking embarrass me, okay? Don't you fucking. Don't you. No, we're good. We're good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Hey, yeah. everything's good. Listen. Eat your fucking hot fucking, dog. Eat your hot dog. Fucking Listen. embarrass me, all right? I'm, a I'm telling you to come to court. Swear to God. I swear to God. My, my mother's going to be there. Yeah. Like, and bring your retarded brother, too. Yeah. <laughs> the one with the bring, fucking thing that's missing. You just bring it, <laughs> when they start doing it, and bring your fucking retarded brother too, and that 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 pedophile of a father can come through the fucking thing too. I saw the pictures of him hugging up on his daughter. You fucking creep! I swear, if that was my daughter, <laughs> I thank you. You know what I do? I throw you down the fucking steps. I do what Method Man did. You know what I would do? I'd cut your eyelids off and feed you nothing but sleeping pills. You understand? Yes, sir. That's so what yeah. I would fucking do. So yeah, you better be there. And keep feeding you. And feeding you. Yeah. And feeding yeah, you. That's what it is. You Yo, don't want to fucking so, so here's cut your thing. knees off and make you walk up and down steps. So all of this, all of this surrounds this uh, allegation um, that the Trump organization, Trumpy Dumpty organization, Johnny Max Evan, welcome to the building, brother Terry Clark, we see you, um, that they have been in the practice for years now of inflating the valuation of a company. So, right, and also real estate. Order, he does that with real yeah, estate, too. Like, or, or, and real estate in order to gain investors and then come tax time, deflate the value of that right. entity. Right, it only entity. cost me $5. That building that you saw, guys? It's only worth 13 I, I'm losing money here. What do you want from me, guys? <laughs> um, it was huge when I bought it. Now it's shrunk because all the rain. Rain can make things shrink. I mean, and right now... this Ask my penis. Yeah, she look at when in my penis is wet. You see what happens. You saw the photos. But so, I'm just letting you know right now, this is not going to go away. They also said there's other there's other cases that they have they're going to open. New York's not playing when it comes to him pertaining to fraud, pertaining to um, evade tax evasion. So, but the thing is, because he's a sitting president, it's harder to go after him. Yeah. But if he does the lose, literally. 
Right. Literally, January 6th. Clack, 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 clack. And he's like, what are you doing? Get off of me. Get off. He's gone. He's gone. I mean, he will get arrested. He and gone. the people he, that he pardoned. And, but he, you know what he's going to do? They said he <laughs> might step down, let Pence be president, and then and let get pardoned. Pence, Pence pardons Trump, which they actually could do, but I still don't do, think he's going to make it. He's going to do the Richard Nixon on the airplane like... So long, suckers. And then the airplane takes off, and then you see Eve is standing there with a little butt, and presses it, and the plane explodes. <laughs> Miss Adverb is like, we're a go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Our, crowd, our so, crowd is savage. That's why we love you guys, Savage AF, right here. Uh, make sure you follow on YouTube. Oh, shit. I forgot to pin the whole thing. I fucking, I'm looking down at it now like, God damn it, I never pinned that. But make sure you guys follow us on YouTube. Uh, look up Savage AF podcast on and it'll come right up uh it'll come right up also make sure that you subscribe not only on there but also subscribe to the podcast version of the show which is on itunes stitcher slacker google play iHeartRadio, on spotify now the now now let me tell you something let me tell you something what 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 you need to do is also i know we've talking about this the only way we can get this motherfucker out of here right we can boo him all day yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Boo him, for sure. Every time you see the motherfucker, boo him. But what you can do is you can vote early. That's what I'm telling now, you about. Do this shit. Going. Vote early and get this motherfucker out. Vote blue, get the orange out. Only thing going to get the orange out is the blue. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, we, we talk a lot about it, and, and we're, we're going to keep pushing that message. But I know that here in California, uh, October 5th is our first day for early voting. And I'm going to be there at uh, on October 4th, 11.59 p.m., baby. <laughs> like, yeah, y'all we got to do it. Because we can talk shit all you want. And thank you for, I see the subscribers went up. Six people just subscribed. Thank you so much for subscribing on the YouTube page. Also, yeah. I think I just that, pinned it. I just pinned it, guys. So thank you. Okay. Um, yeah. So follow us, Savage AF Podcast on YouTube. And, you know, and do you think, I was going to ask you, Pedro, do you think that, the, the way this AG, since we're we're still talking about this for now, but the way this AG is going on, do you think that if he if she gets his sons, then do you think that he'll topple right after that? Because that's what I think will happen. Wait, if they nail oh, the son, if, if they nail the sons in the organization, that William Barr will have to William below the bar. Is that what you're yeah. saying? Will have to have to back off of his his undying support for the Dark Lord. Yes. Um, yes. You know, it, it. You know, we're we're hoping that speaking of pinning things, that <laughs> that New York can pin these motherfuckers down and and uh, bring about something real towards that organization that that would look, you know, pretty bad. Um, the reality is, pre-election, which is base. I don't think this is going to be the thing that has any that bears any burden on them. But um, there is a reason why. Eric Trump is fighting to, or was fighting to postpone anything until after the election. So yeah, it, it won't look good for them at all. That, that, right, that's and also you got to think, it's a combination, it's like a two blow, one, it's one to the ribs, one to the head, where they basically um, the fact they're trying to you know, jam this Supreme Court pick through, right, she would have to basically I mean, take herself out of the mix because she was actually put into office, I mean, put into the Supreme Court while they were actually in an election year. So it's a double-edged sword. They got the political right and might to do it, but at the same time, if they do that, she's got to recuse herself because she was picked by a bipartisan, not, not bipartisan. Uh, but yeah, she'd have to recuse does she, herself. Does she so have to? Is that a... Is that would, a yeah, because that's that means she's, she's swayed towards... Trump. So if it goes, yeah, you would if, think, it, if you would the think. election goes to the Supreme Court, then you got you got your judge in your pocket that you put in during this yeah. election well, cycle. So yeah, right, she's so going to repeat speak, herself. So speaking of judges in pockets, man, because at, at this point, um, you know, I'm, I'm not even sure that. Uh, I mean, you're you're kind of talking about a country that makes sense, and I'm not sure that we're that country anymore at all. Um, so speaking of judges in pocket. I want to I want to ask you guys, which foreign entity would you rather be controlled by? Because according to the FBI, CIA, I mean, even even when you heard William below the bar, attorney general, 
uh, speak to like Wolf Blitzer about it. And Wolf Blitzer asked him, who, who is the bigger threat, Russia or China? And, and the attorney general, the top cop of the United States goes, well, you know, China's the bigger threat. <laughs> and then just sit, and then just sit there. I'm like, and you're planning to do what about it, motherfucker? Like you are, you are the top cop, the bitch. But also, you're not saying the question wasn't who is the threat, right? Who is the one threat, China, Russia or China? It was who is the bigger threat, like a comparative term, completely. Like they're both problems. Which one do we need to deal with first, right? So there's still this this lack of recognition or this ignorance, you know, and ignorance about um, the fact that both of these countries are fucking with us. So basically, fuck the DOJ, the Department of Justice. The reality is Russia is trying to bend shit for Trump and China is trying to bend shit for Biden. And this shit is fucking nuts. But I sat here today and I'm like, I need to root for China in this election. <laughs> like, yes, because... They want to influence like Midwest farmers about the tariff shit so that they can continue to get their soy cheap from American farmers who need to sell that soy so that they can pay for the fucking farm and all the tariffs fuck that up. So the, the Chinese are actually trying to influence the election for Biden, according to FBI, CIA. And, right. And the Russians are trying to influence it for Trump. And I'm like, We've recognized two foreign entities are at this election. Now we're just basically at a point, I'll be right there, motherfucker. Basically, uh, <laughs> they, you know, and now they're like, we have to sit here as citizens and be like, okay, I guess I'm rooting for China. Go China. <laughs> like, come Go on, China. China. Hack Go up, China. China. Hack away. Hey. Hack away. Yeah, so Hack I know. End of the day. Like End of the day, we both know what the deal is, but Russia is the one, number one, Russia is the bigger threat because they're the way they're going about it. But at the same time, I mean, Russia is the one that put him in the first time. I really, truly believe that shit. I believe they got something on him. I think he's, there's a P tape. I think there's a tape with him getting just urinated on by a bunch of Russian hookers, male, male and female. Hooker, ma like, yeah, a cow. Yeah, male I, hookers I think just peeing on his face. That's why his skin's orange. His yeah. skin's orange from being peed on so much. OK. And I think R. Kelly was there peeing on him. Um, I'm just thinking, you know, Jesse Smollett peeing on him. On I think all of them. I think everybody. Je I think Jesse on Smollett. Him. Jesse Smollett hired two Nigerians to pee on him. Nigerians. You know what I mean? And that's to pee on him. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah so I think that I think I think so. One El Newt said warm pee, too, which is all the way always the way it should come out. It's going to get. Yeah, cold it shouldn't be. But yeah, if you pee in cold. Brother, <laughs> something's you got wrong. Some other shit, yeah. You need to wrap it up three, four I, times. I, I know this sounds fucked up, but uh, to some people, but especially Trump supporters, always want to you know, inbox me and say dumb shit to me. And I don't know what part of suck a dead dog's dick you don't understand, <laughs> you bitches. Fuck it's out probably of the here. dead and the dick. They probably yeah, the like, dead dog's hard. dick. Which nah, for real, man. They get out, get out my face with that shit. But. What other reason would he always be sucking up to Putin? Would always be like giving him a pass? What's up, Lisa Tanker in the building? Um, Lisa Tanker in the building. No, I think Russia. It, yes, Russia is a, definitely a dictatorship, and I think that he looks up to Putin and wants America to be a dictatorship. That's why he always talks about maybe I'll do eight years more. Maybe I'll do twenty years more. Motherfucker! No, 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 no. Keep getting peed on and eat a yeah. dead dog's dick. So Prime Minister Tate says China has a lot of equity in the United States. And this is the difference, right? It's like, okay, we, we, we were working on, we have trade with China, right? Russia yeah. is an adversary, okay? And the leadership in Russia has tapped into the ego and minger mindedness of our current president. And they have totally co-opted what little mind the raccoons that live in his skull have not eaten yet and turned him into an agent for themselves, right? So, right. They're to so like, wh while it sounds weird to root for foreign powers to influence our election, at least understand that the Chinese, are, they don't want this chaos, like somebody said earlier. Like, there, there is too much invested in this country for them to sit here and watch us have where they gonna get their soy? 
They're just trying to get the soy from Iowa and he shit. He just you wants your saying? soy. Come he on, man. So, want your soy. Yeah, he so it, it's it's one of those That's things, more Japanese, like, my bad. <laughs> it's all good. We got where you're going with it, though. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's, it's just one of those things where, A, we shouldn't have recognized influence from two to three foreign parts, because there's also Iran that's been recognized as, as trying to influence this. But China and Russia are obviously the two main forces. But when you look at what they're really trying to do, Russia is really trying to destroy our democracy. China is just trying to keep up trade with us. And I'm not saying we should allow either in, but what kind of, like, we're in a really messed up position where I have to concede. Not really, not and really. Root, and root for China at this point to be like, I hope y'all hack better than Russia. I really hope y'all are better hackers than Russia. I mean, according right. to stereotypes, you should be able to get these motherfuckers on the right, computer, dog. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know Russians be but, into no, this but shit. you know what? But I China, think read them. Do your no. shit. The calculator. Russia, and all that China, shit, maybe China. We need them now. Yeah, China's not doing as much dissension. Like I'll give you an example. Like I think Russia wants us to to be in chaos more than China does. But China, I think, is not. They're going more the straight line hacking um, dissension thing. Whereas, and I think Russia is like, I want them to implode, not just lose, but lose. I want Trump to win, but not just that, but for them to implode. So like, across the world, we'll look like a bigger and better place. It's like influence versus infiltration, right? Yes. It's like Russia is trying to infiltrate our democracy and blow it up from within. And all China is trying to do is influence our an election our economy through our democracy back towards something that's beneficial to them which to be honest was beneficial to us i mean the the auto industry like gm announced five plant closings as a result of trump's tariffs because you don't get supplies you don't get raw materials as cheaply anymore so you have to move when, production right. to someplace else completely different um, like we said, farmers of soy in particular have been, were hit hard by the tariffs because they would, a tariff is a, it's a tax. It's not like a fine that you charge. I'm sorry. It's not like you're taxing China for their goods. It's a fine that you charge. Wait a minute. American, hold on. Wait a minute. American wait a minute. companies. What's the tariff? Was I, God, a tariff. God damn it. Clem, I'm going to tell I you. Thought I'm a tariff, I thought a tariff, tariff was, okay, Me something that you... It, it's Me a tariff. Jebediah asking about the damn tariffs again. Here's the. Well, thing. you just explain it to me, goddamn it! Don't ask her, fuck her. Son of a bitch. Okay, here's the thing, man. Look. All right, a tariff, tariff. is a tax. It's I like, get it. It's a I get it. It's a taxation, but not on right. the foreign entity. Okay. Right. And ent entity just really means thing. Right. So it's not a tax on the foreign thing. It's a tax. On the American thing, but okay? say no. You know what I was told? I was told I was told Antifa is the reason we had tariffs. It's all Antifa's fault. I gotta admit, man. One time I got a lap dance from a stripper named Antifa. It changed my life, man. <laughs> I love her. Yeah, Antifa. If you're out there, if you're listening, baby, come back. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I love you, so Antifa. Much. I didn't mean to follow you home. I just couldn't help it. I yo, I thing. tried to explain that to people today that Antifa is a description. It is not necessarily an organization. It's not an organi it's not and, an organization. And, and, and they just like, yes, it is. They, we they, all... You know what? They beat my father up. No, I'm it was two saying. motherfuckers that beat your father up. It was just two Antifa, motherfuckers. Antifa means anti-fascist. If you are a goddamn American, we are all Antifa. We should all be anti-fascist. This isn't something I should keep having to say out loud. If you're not Antifa, Antifa. that means you are fa. That means you are the fa means fascist. Okay? Right. We're you are a, the fa means we're fascist. In a Nobody has time to say two words all at the same time. So you just, we put the two words together. Anti-fascist becomes fascist. That's what it is. And I think that China, honestly, I think that China will put a dent because they can drop millions of dollars. Um, mm -hmm. And that's millions and millions of dollars. Bill billions. Yes, billions of dollars. So I think they do want America to be stabilized. Whereas I think, you know, honestly, Russia doesn't want America to be stabilized. It wants us to have racial division, even though we already have racial division. And the divide is also the divider in chief. That's his other name, the divider in chief, the orange cunt stick in charge of fucking racism. So end of the day, I would go with China any day over motherfucking 
this racist asshole that got booed. I, that was I actually sent it to Eve. I sent it to Eve to say, let me brighten up your day. Yeah. And and I sent her a link to the video of it, just them going boo and him standing there, then going, I didn't hear him. You 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 heard him. Everybody heard him. Put it this way. Um, you know what? <laughs> Ruth Bader Ginsburg heard him. That's how much <laughs> she, that's how big they were booing the yeah, shit out she, of it. She yeah, yeah. She must have sparked up um uh, from from the ether, man. Uh yeah, o over her body. Uh, which lays in repose outside the Supreme Court so that the general public can view it. When, when Trumpy Dumpty stepped out, he, he, got, he got the, um, let me see, what kind of booings have we seen like this before? Um, I don't know, maybe like uh, LeBron James, the first time he came back to Cleveland after he left Miami or some shit. Big, like, he got booed like that. Um, I don't know if he did, but I'm saying they must have been like, the Apollo. I, I just thought yeah, the Apollo. Apollo. I mean, <laughs> get, and, hit him with that. get away from me, Sandman. Get away from me. You're disgusting. I don't like niggas. We know I mean, Sandman, Sandman would have got shot that night. It would be yeah. like clickety clack, clickety clack, pappity pap. You know what I'm saying? Like, pam, pam, pam. But, but I, four, again, I mean, four. I know we're going to go on the next topic, but I want to say this first and first and foremost, all you motherfuckers that are actually watching the goddamn show and listening to the show, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to do me a favor. One time, one time. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Listen, hey, follow at, 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 all day. Boom, bam. Follow at Black Pedro. Do the shit today, today, today. And if you're if you on my feed, if you're on my feed and you're not following at uh, Comedian Shang, then honestly... You should slam your head in the window, go look in the mirror, be like, fuck is wrong with me? Then follow yeah. that comedian Shane. And then th get your life right, okay? Wake yourself yeah, up. Yeah, but I know um, Terry, Terry Clark, 217, it was a barrage of booze. It was, yeah. I've never seen, well, no, they booed him out it's of called a, a sports it's game a, before. It's called a barrage. Barrage, is that what it was? It was a barrage, yeah. He got hit with a barrage. It was uh, so, <laughs> it was, I've never seen that. Simon and Hitler got booed at a UFC fight. That was true. I remember yeah. that. Yeah, that's what it was. I thought it was at a baseball game, but it was at the UFC fight. He got booed. And I he just doesn't feel know like the difference between the two. It doesn't matter. He thought they were saying, you know, something good. And they was like, no, die, motherfucker. Lock him up. They used the, the vote him out like he used the lock him, lock her up. Oh, yes, they did. Yes, they did. Yes, they yes. did. Yeah, that shit was. J.D. Line. Ruth was smiling. Somebody said Ruth. That was Ruth was smiling. I she mean, he's a horrible human world. being. He's a horrible human being with no moral center whatsoever, and we know it. And somebody asked me, well, you know, Biden's old and befuddled, and he wrote the crime bill. Again, stop that dumb shit, and, uh, oh, this happened again. Women are like, I don't like that light-skinned bitch. They did it again. I, and then I checked two women and gave them points of why they shouldn't talk like that. And I actually turned them around because they're like, you know what, Kamala, she's smart. And, you know, I saw her. She's pretty good on the prosecution tip. But I don't like this light-skinned bitch. She thinks she all that. I'm like, will you quit that nigga dumb fucking mentality? We need to get this orange cunt stick out of fucking office. And even though he <laughs> might not leave... He might not leave. This is real shit. I saw it again. He he doubled down. And said, "Oh no, he's, well, he's we'll all see. about that." Uh, yeah, Eve but said, Eve, Eve said, "Blender hat." So those are, you know, if if you if you hadn't turned them around, Shane, then we should have sent them a blender hat. But a blender they, hat. They sent. Hey, they this is a nice to... hat. Wait, a, what's this button? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's yeah. That's what you need. So yes, yeah, yes. So, um, yeah, yeah. so um, yeah, stop I, it. So so you know. We're we're be we're being hit with a barrage uh, of hacking from these two entities, and and that's that that's you know fucking up democracy. But I think another layer to it is just going to be this real on the ground shit, uh, and this is a this is you know kind of what's really actually going on right now. But what we're looking at is um, forty six percent of Americans. This is from NPR, by the way, National Public Radio, um, but forty six percent of Americans right now are, are claiming uh, financial hardship, right? So extreme, no, extreme, extreme. Financial hardship. Yeah, yeah. Let me, let me, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's extreme six, financial six, hardship. Seri serious financial problems. Was, well, yeah, was yeah. That, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Is the actual sort of quote from it. But um, 
when you get to 46%, I mean, that's, that's not racial lines, okay? Because, you know, black people don't make up anywhere near that percentage of it. Latinos don't either. Maybe if you combine them, you get a certain percentage that might be a, a greater part of that. But, and, and, and the article does state that, yes, blacks and Latinos are being hit harder within this. But another whole part of that percentage are just good old European Americans. Who Wait are, a minute, you trying to tell me it's white people? White people is going through problems too? I don't white know what that people is. I don't know what that is. Listen, man, they're either from Europe or Africa or Asia. Wait a minute. Japan, All right, China, yeah, whatever, European man. Americans. But ain't no goddamn dang down white people, okay? They, they're European Americans. They're European Americans. From Europe. They call us African Americans and Asian Americans. You ride, Get you your ride, you ride. Everybody get your hyphen there. The hyphen line is there. Now, 46%, if you look at the percentages, 46% has to be a huge chunk since we are minorities. No matter what you want to think, we're minorities. So the majority is definitely Caucasoids. And Caucasoids, even though people say, that sounds horrible, it's the truth. They're from the Caucasoid Mountains, Caucasian. Yeah, the Caucasoid it says it on fucking sure. driver's license. That's, stop that's biblical shit right there, you know what I'm saying? Right, but 46% uh, is, is extremely that. high. And the fact that they, the, the Republicans were trying to not have uh, the stimulus package go through, not give people that are having a hard time the money they need, <laughs> cut the money in half, actually, cut it in half. It's just so fucking well, at, evil. at this point, I mean, like, th this is the literal, like, this is the, the, the title for this article. No one can live off $240 a week. Many Americans struggle to pay rent. So they didn't actually even cut it in half, Shane, right? It's just been cut off right now. The proposal from the Republicans in the Senate was to cut that benefit in half. But nobody's agreed on anything in months now. So that money is gone. It has run out. I, like... <clears throat> There's some program in California that's supposed to uh, do three hundred dollars a week on top of your right. uh, that, no, that happened. benefits, but for me it only happened one week. Like, it only happened one week for me. Yeah, they, they gave me one extra three hundred dollar thing, and I was like, okay. I mean, you know, like I'm kind of working and I'm kind of doing all right, but like this ain't the thing y'all said y'all. Yeah, they, they were supposed to be back pay all the way to August first, so I was expecting like you know, 1200 or something like that. Right. And that didn't happen. So, well, see, I've just started a fans only page uh, where I just, uh, I put the cocoa butter. Only your fans on. will be on that book. Yes. <laughs> yes. I say, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah trust me. <laughs> but no, I mean, it ain't going to be me dancing naked. None of that shit. I ain't that type of motherfucker. Of It'll just not. me sitting there going, hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> only hey. Fans only. Hey, what y'all doing? What y'all doing? I ain't doing shit. That's why I'm here. Thank you. Brother. That'll be five dollars. But um, no, tell you, I'm gonna nobody I'm gonna tell you right now. There's a lot of people that are struggling, but there's a lot of people that feel like they're forced back into some jobs that they didn't want to go to that are dangerous for them. And we have seen a spike in some people who have went back to work. That's the truth. There's people that went back to work because they felt like I got to. I got no fucking choice. I mean back it's either that because it won't cover the, even if you get to 1200 on, on the real, if you have a car payment and you have rent, that's it. Don't. And your rent has to be and, below. In, in L.A., that's a choice. You ain't going to do both with $1,200. You ain't going to pay your car and your rent with no $1,200. No. Not in L.A. Not in Los Angeles. Not in L.A. Fuck no, not in L.A., not in New York. But New York is actually the, the rent is going lower and the rent the rent is going lower there. So yes, Uncle Stabby. I will have Uncle Stabby fans in my fans only. only. <laughs> yeah, you you want to watch me stab? Come through. Yeah. Three dollars for the next two. You hours. send me anybody you need me to stab and I stab that motherfucker right in his ass cheek. The big I'm talking about the meaty end. The meaty end of the ass. <laughs> <laughs> the meaty <laughs> end. Wait, is that a word? Meaty end. Meaty end. Terry Clark said uh retirees have uh, I have gone back to work. You know, um, I know that was happening in the in the medical industry. They were asking. That's you know, true. Yeah, doctors were like, I got to be a doctor out. again. Um, and I guess there's 200,000 Americans are dying and have died that somebody's got to fill them shoes, I guess. But uh, 
the reality is, and, and you know, what, what, one of the kind of uh, most shocking parts of this article to me was that one of the poll, you know, one of the participants uh, or, or administrators of the poll that, you know, that found out that 46% of Americans are struggling uh, right now, uh, you know, is from Harvard University, um, you know, public, School of Public Health. And they, he's saying they were shocked at how high the number is of, of people experiencing this. And I'm like, really? They cut off most Americans from right. you know, any kind of money that would help. How, how could you be shocked by this? We already had high homeless rates and, and high levels of, of people struggling with food insecurity and, and rent insecurity and things like that. Of course, this pandemic attitude, especially when Congress hasn't provided what they need to. This but is no, our you can't money. Say it's just always Congress. our money. It's always our money. Well, guys. Yeah, it's it's our money, and we got to beg for our money, which is some bullshit. But at the end of the day, it's not just Congress, because even though people don't like the Democrats, and there were Democrats that bitched up because it was a lot of there's a lot of bitches in the Democrats. But it was Republicans specifically that were cutting it off. It was Republicans saying you can do you can do well with twelve hundred, you'll be fine. And then they cut that. So I wouldn't say I I don't like when they say, Well, it's both sides. It's not both sides. It's specifically the Republicans that did this. So when you think about voting, when you think about what's gonna happen with the fucking Supreme Court ladies, so hide your vagina, hide your vagina right now. Um, I'm books. telling you right now. <laughs> they don't yeah, I mean, if, books. if you don't think they're not going to try to go after Roe versus Wade, if you don't think that they're not going to go after the Affordable <laughs> Care Act, you out of your motherfucking mind. You got to hide your pussy. Hide your pussy. I hate, pussy. I hate, I hate Miss Adverb and Eve's underscore Apple right now. It's my money and I need cash now. Y'all on some JG Wentworth. I never understood why the dude was in the opera shit. With the Viking helmet on the bus, like I don't make no sense, Those but the we remember the shit. To, but this leads to that, right? Like that's the thing: you impoverish half the population, and it's like need a loan. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. JG Wentworth. I'm like, <laughs> you have on lipstick and a fucking Viking helmet. I should kick you in your face and ask the bus driver for my pass back. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck this dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I but, can't with y'all. But if you think about it this way, you think about by putting us into a box where we're like struggling and we can't like, I thought about it today. I was like, damn, I, I was actually doing pretty well booking wise and gig wise and comedy wise. I was Killing. lucky enough to get into it for the people that don't know that don't go to comedy clubs. There's the improvs and they were booking me at the majority of the improvs. They were booking me at the, the laugh factory, which owns nine clubs. Like the Laugh Factory is there's nine Laugh Factories and I was getting booked at all. And so it, it's it's weird when you take a hit like that. But luckily, um, you know, from dancing at old folks homes and, and smearing cocoa butter on my buttocks in front of these old ladies and they, their eyesight's bad. So they don't know that I actually have on pants, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> is how I made it through. Um, <laughs> right, if right, I wouldn't right, have made right. it through and they and they and sometimes instead of 20s, they throw hundreds because they can't see. Because the eyesight is bad like mine. Yeah, so I, 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 I would get pretty good nights of tipping when I would I would uh, strip. Okay, oh, you <laughs> saw me at the Looney Bin in Tulsa. Yeah, that was a yeah. good gig. I was supposed to get do it, it this month, but uh, they wanted me to share a room with uh, the other comics. I said, uh, that ain't going to motherfucking happen, Tulsa. Mm -hmm. nope. You know, so, but I no, I, Tulsa was, Tulsa, you saw me at Tulsa. I had a great time at Tulsa. It was a great crowd. Every every gig I did at the Looney Bins was great, but right now between my kid and that, I was like, I ain't going, I ain't going. And luckily, I had enough money from uh, you know my fans only page. No, I don't really, <laughs> not from that. And then Pedro, you know, took Gertrude. He he robbed like four liquor stores, so he good for a while. <laughs> you know, he don't take Gertrude out, but he's going to eventually when the shit starts burning. Wait till they were burning shit up right up the street from us. Because we, really, by the way, that. everybody here on Savage, we literally live maybe five minutes away from each other. Like, he lives down the street. And they were burning parts of Melrose and Fairfax. It's called Fairfax. They Literally, there was building after building was boarded up and burnt out. So, Today or what? Yeah. Uh, sure no, 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 no. Um, oh, you mean like, back to back. You were in Vegas. You were yeah, in yeah, Vegas. I was going, yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. yeah. And chief lady, like, lady, chief lady, I would have gave you a hug, but your husband, your husband was there. Why? 
What? It wasn't like I was going to give you a hug and shove my dick in you. It was. Uh, it would be a hug. All right, I'll hug and him I think, too. I think, as long as you, I think, you know? I think her husband is just one of them dudes. Like, yo, <laughs> six feet, my nigga. Even before pandemic, six feet, my nigga. <laughs> hey That's man, my wife, you know, so social All distance, motherfucker. Get away from my wife. <laughs> yeah, yeah he made me. Get away. I'm sorry, right. Chief Lady. He, he apparently he social distanced me before social distancing. So right, look, I get it. Before we get before we get out of here, one thing, one last thing I want to touch on, man. Savage AF right here. Follow at comedian Shang at Black Pedro. Follow at Savage AF Radio right here on Instagram as well. And check also, the pin down below. I, I, also, I'm sorry, YouTube. I mean YouTube. Our new YouTube pin. channel up. Thank you. I see we got no subscribers already. We are, we jumped up another four just now. Um. You go to Savage AF Let's Podcast. Go. Just go to YouTube, go. Savage AF Podcast. We're going to have the go old, the, the past shows will be on there. We're going to be putting other stuff on there. Pedro Poppins are going to be on there. Different rants and different stuff that's going on. And hopefully when we get back on stage regular, because Pedro gave it a valid, him and Kevin Shea gave it a valid effort to try to get a, a show where it was live show and the shit got I'm trying to hit another spot around the corner, and they're delinquent with it. I'm like, come on, man. Like, come on, bro. So, right. um, yeah, that's, that's where we are. So before we get out of here, guys, I do want to talk about uh, what's going on with um, Michael Bloomberg. Uh, he's putting his money where his mouth is. You know, he tried to buy his way into the election as a Democratic candidate. Uh, that didn't work. But he is staying true to the, uh, to the mission. What he of, did promise. He did stay true getting, to it. I give him that. Donald Trump out of here. So... He is right now, and also, you know, people like LeBron James are also putting up money, but Bloomberg is like, you know, he's walking in the strip club like even even the even the stab wounds and cigar uh burn bitches are getting uh paid tonight. Like he's, everybody he's, uh, so he, he's putting Did you up, hear how much money he's putting into Florida? Uh let me see. Reported that I think it raised a hundred million? Was it a hundred yeah. million? Yeah, he's putting a hundred million in, I believe, into uh, paying. I, no, I don't think it's a hundred million. It's a paying off uh, these. So the goal is he's trying to pay off, and this is something we've talked about um, in Florida. They are making it a requirement that felons, ex felons, who have to pay. Are, yeah. are eligible to vote, but have to pay off all of their felony fines. Ah, shit, we got like a minute forty-five left. But Michael Bloomberg is putting up mad dollars to pay off those fees. Your boy Trumpy Dumpty is trying to say that's a felony and that you can't do that. And it is completely legal. There's nothing wrong with it. So, uh, you know, let's support, support Bloomberg, uh, LeBron James, and all of those. I mean, this is a serious effort to fight voter suppression. Because what, the, what, what Trump tried to claim is that Bloomberg is paying people to vote. But no, the reality is the state of Florida is charging people to vote. And Bloomberg is just paying that fine, that fee, that charge, that cover charge, that door charge to get in. It might be ladies night, but fellas, yo ass, $35. Right. You know what I'm saying? And what did they do? And, and, and some Trump's afraid of that. But Trump didn't so. like, Trump and Bloomberg already was beefing it. So I'm glad. Bloomberg's like, I'm still going to get you, you orange bitch ass motherfucker. Want to see you in these streets. You know why? Because I got bigger banks than you. Big bank, tank, little bank, homie. You know, big that's bank, what happened. Little bank. Little big bank, tank, little bank. But, but so no, yeah, I no, but he's he, spending a he hundred million dollars. He's spending a hundred million dollars to help the uh, Biden camp um, because there's so much uh, voter oh, suppression yeah. going on. He is helping, and I think we do but, need that. So, but in yeah. particular to this this fight against, um, and we got thirty seconds. This fight against uh, this specific form of voter suppression in Florida with regards to felony fines being paid off before you can vote, uh, he has raised over $16 million and donated $5 million himself. So, uh, you know, that's $21 million towards paying off uh, niggas' tickets and all other kind of shit. Right, dumb shit. Uh, Savage so AM, Savage AM. Tomorrow, 3 p.m., we got five, four, four three, three, two, two, two one.